We talked earlier about who actually has the right to vote as our democracy evolves. That definition of the people must continue to be defined, whether through naturalization, restoration of rights, or participation in our democratic society. We all have the opportunity to shape our country through citizenship. In 2020, I had the honor of being able to take an 18-year-old to vote for the first time. And uh, she was very enthusiastic about that. And I think that in part, it was a really significant moment because she's our future, the future of our democracy. But it wasn't lost on her that she was participating at a critical time in our nation's history proving that our democracy can endure. We have first-time voters in this election in 2022. I just got my citizenship. I'm here to vote. I moved to the area. I want to vote for the candidates in the bond referendums. We, we applaud, we clap. Uh, we have same-day voter registration now. We've registered 10 voters since the books closed. These are people that would have been turned away on election day, but they just moved in here and they want to vote for their local offices. Voters have certainly gotten more engaged with that. Uh, they are motivated to participate, whether they're working for the political parties or they're handing out sample ballots. They're also signing up to be officers of election so that they can understand what is happening in the election process, which we encourage. If we have folks that want to know more, we want them to be a part of serving the community and learning how the election is really run. These citizenship classes, so they're called Becoming Citizens, and we um, are going to offer these in perpetuity uh, you know, in the future, so we hold uh, one kind of semester in the fall and then another one in the spring. It's an eight-week course and I really want to emphasize that it's 100% free. So we provide all the study material, we provide snacks, um, and students um, come and they don't have to pay anything. The actual acts of citizenship are well beyond just voting once every four, two, or as in Virginia, every single year. It is beyond the ballot box. It is how we interact with each other every single day. It's how we interact with our representatives by sending letters, writing petitions, by protesting. By gathering together, we engage in the civic process, in the democratic experiment. And that exists through our voting methods and in how we choose to perpetuate a system by engaging in it on a daily basis. Before we sign off from the Virginia Museum of History and Culture, we want to say a big thanks to our friends here for being so accommodating and allowing us to showcase this exhibit during election coverage. The exhibit is up through December 31st, and we hope you'll make it out to experience it. I'm Matt Pacilli, and so long from the Virginia Museum of History and Culture.